Hey there, and thanks for joining me for today's mobile making tip. Today you're gonna to learn the most important thing you need to know to make a mobile. Hands down, bar none. Without this tip, believe you me, mobile making will be frustrating. I learned this the hard way. It wasn't in the first books that I read or the first videos that I saw. Uh, so hopefully this will help you uh, immensely. So what is this tip? Simply always build your mobiles from the bottom up. I don't know why, but others instruct to build from the top down. And it is nearly impossible. Even if you have a higher education degree in physics or engineering, it just is tough. And here's why. So imagine you're building a mobile from the top down. You have your first piece in the mobile. You're all excited about it. You're ready. You've balanced it out so that you have this nice level arm. You pick this fixed balance point right here based on the weight of what you're already working with. So what happens when you add another arm and blade? Well, you change that weight and go figure, you're gonna change that balance point too. So if you like it, fantastic, but if not, every subsequent arm that you put on this mobile is gonna change the balance points above it because it changes the weight. That balance point doesn't move, the weight does. So what do you do if you want to avoid that? Yep, start from the bottom up. And let's demonstrate how that would work. So here we have uh, an arm, and it's got a pretty centered balance point on it. It's fixed based on the weight of this blade and arm combination. So, well, we're not gonna hang it up there. So if we add the next arm onto that, that balance point stays the same. It hasn't changed. I get to decide now where to put the balance point on the arm above it based on the weight below it. So let's say I want it right here. So I'll quickly do that, or sort of quickly do that. So now we hang that up. This fixed point is dealing with the weight below it. The weight below it is never gonna change because we're building upward. So how this lays out will never change. When I put the next arm on it, do the same thing. So, see, nothing has changed. I gotta determine where that balance point is on this arm based on the weight that sits below it. I'm gonna fix that point right here, and voila. This arm doesn't change, this arm doesn't change, this arm doesn't change. And I can build endlessly on top of that because each arm above is dealing with the weight that sits below it. So I hope this uh, help tip has been super helpful and please hit me up with any of your questions. All right, have fun.